Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can make this frequency meter using Arduino Nano and an OLED display. So make sure you drop one of these down there. So first you are gonna need an Arduino and an OLED display. So I will show you how to connect these two. Now connect the data wire to the analog 4 pin of the Arduino Nano and uh, the SCL wire to the analog 5 that is cloak Now connect VCC and ground to the 5 volt pin and ground to the Arduino From the pin D5 we will take the input of the frequencies so connect a wire on the D5 now, I have made a PCB for the Arduino and the OLED display to fit so I'll fit them on guys this is the code so guys these are the all the libraries which we are gonna include and the upper two libraries are already installed in the Arduino ID software and the bottom are libraries you can find in the library manager so I will show you the keywords for the libraries and that's adafruit underscore ssd1306 and that's the library and you can see that I have installed it now close it oh wait the second one I haven't shown you uh, that's freak count and that's the second one so now close it the freak count library is for counting frequencies and I have commented all the things which you can see on the screen this command right here initiates the display and this is the void setup and this command clears the display and this command right here begins the frequency counting and you can see if the void setup is working then it will create a float variable called freak, freak count dot read and another variable which is inverse of the frequency now always clear the display first now set the text size to 1 because that fits well set the text color to white because that's the only color available and uh, it uh, sets the cursor position to 0 pixel 0 at the top left 
and these are all the formatting part uh, headings and underlines etc etc so you can see the code and comments and if you don't understand anything you can comment me and ask any question you like so now check these three columns and set it according to yourself because these should be right before uploading the code now click on the upload button and let's wait Now the uploading is done. Now let's hook up our Arduino to the power supply. And as you can see, as soon as I hook up the Arduino, the display turns on. And you can see the numbers. It says 0 Hz frequency and now I will use this pin on the D5 to read the frequency and this mobile adapter to calculate its frequency and this adapter usually gives 120 Hz to 190 Hz frequency so let's measure it and as you can see on the screen this is showing 155 134 and the numbers are flickering so the frequency meter is working correctly So guys that's all for this video, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.